Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of Amateur Radio Station, W1GV Whiskey 1, Good Vibrations. A little while ago, I made a video entitled QRP into a tiny antenna. And um, yeah, I, it should appear in this same playlist just shortly after this one in the sequence of videos. It shows how to tune a short wire antenna at a frequency of, in this particular case, 1.8 megahertz um, with an amplifier uh, that amplifies a 100 milliwatt signal into 5 or 10 watts. I believe it's 5 watts uh, for use with a short wire only 10 feet long antenna. QRP into a tiny antenna and the tube used is a triode and um, the, the a viewer named Jerry has sent me some information uh, he wants to know how to make a similar amplifier using a pentode vacuum tube rather than a triode and here is the circuit that I have dreamed up kind of a generic circuit no specific component values given. Input 100 milliwatts, output 5 watts, the same as before, the same short antenna. But the reason for using a pentode tube rather than a triode is because the triode tends to break into oscillation much more easily than uh, a pentode will. Uh, so uh, he, uh, this viewer found a schematic diagram similar to this one and he was asking me what are these other two grids for the diagram that he sent me didn't show them connected to anything so apparently he didn't know much about pentode vacuum tubes well the idea here uh, is to as i said prevent self oscillation by means of these extra grids the main grid or the input grid is called the control grid this is the cathode this is this middle grid here is called the screen grid and the upper grid shown here is called the suppressor grid and then of course we have the plate pentode meaning five elements cathode control grid screen grid suppressor grid and plate so I I told him that uh, this was getting a little bit too complicated uh, for our audience and uh, and exceeded my knowledge in so far as particular specifications for the components to be used uh, you would have to use tube tables um, data sheets for various vacuum tubes that I don't have access to so I I kind of blew him off and I felt a little bit bad about that so I thought I'd give this uh, a try and at least explain where these two top grids the screen and suppressor grid how they are usually connected in a pentode tube amplifier like this the screen grid gets a positive DC voltage that's somewhere between the plate voltage which in this case case is 600 volts uh, just for uh, just to give a number as an example in this case somewhere in between plus 600 volts and 0 volts and that DC voltage is obtained by use of a resistive voltage divider comprising this resistor and this resistor uh, usually the screen grid voltage is about one-third of the plate voltage so that would be around 200 volts so the you'd have a two to one ratio of resistances here you would have this resistor would have twice the value roughly as this resistor does and they should be high values so that they do not draw a lot of current and use up a lot of current themselves and so that they don't uh, 
well, so that they tend to match the output impedance of this circuit, which is going to be very, very high. The screen grid, therefore, where do you connect it? To a positive voltage somewhere between zero or ground potential and the plus 600 in this case or plate voltage a DC voltage and that's um, what the screen grid carries that's where you connect it as for the suppressor grid in most pentode tube amplifiers you'll find the suppressor grid connected directly to ground now the screen grid while helping to reduce oscillation uh, or the tendency for the tube to self oscillate because of coupling between the control grid and the plate it, it interferes with that coupling and thereby makes self oscillation much less likely the suppressor grid does that to an even greater extent and has other effects that you would have to read about in um, complete courses on vacuum tubes and uh, insofar as a book about vacuum tubes goes a couple of commenters have remarked that plenty of old publications already exist concerning uh, vacuum tube technology and that a new book on that technology might not really be called for. In any case, it's the same exact amplifier as you'll find in the other video, QRP into a short antenna, but uh, in the same circuit, but it uses a pentode tube instead of a triode and here's where the grids go the screen grid to a positive dc voltage the suppressor grid usually to zero dc potential or dc ground and therefore also rf ground because as you will notice the connection is direct between the suppressor grid and circuit ground so hopefully uh Jerry, this will answer your question and uh, make me feel a little bit less uh, a little bit less bad about blowing you off the way I did. Uh, I uh, can't again, as I said, give specific values for any of these components. The frequency here, operating frequency that you have specified is around 1.8 megahertz the input power around 100 milliwatts and the output power around 5 watts. Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, signing off, saying 73, which means best regards, and so long, which in the mode I would use with this or any other amplifier would always translate to Da 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 da.